everybody and welcome. My name is Nick and I am here with the American Family Insurance Dream Bank where we believe that your dream is the most valuable thing you'll ever own and we are here to help you pursue yours. Now if you're new here, I usually lead us through a craft, but as you'll notice in today's video is something a little different. I am not in my studio right now. I'm actually in my study and that is because I am not leading today's craft. I'm very happy to have Stacy Ball with us with Stickman Painting Studio and she'll be leading us through a painting lesson step by step and doing a really beautiful Valentine's Day painting that'll make a perfect piece of decor for this time of year. So thank you so much for being here. I'm happy you're here and we will turn it over to Stacy. Hey there everybody, it is Stacy with Stickman. I wanna wish you a happy Valentine's Day. And today in our painting session, we're gonna be painting this really cute little heart balloon painting called Hearts on a String. So if you wanna go ahead and get your painting supplies together and we'll go ahead and get started. Okay, everybody, so because I'm painting on a smaller canvas, I am decided to go ahead and face the camera this way just so you can see the picture a little better than how I typically film and record these. So I have the example here and I'll leave it here so you have that to look at. And then here's the painting I'll be painting on. And then the supplies that you need for this should be scrolling at the bottom of your, uh, at the bottom of your screen. And so I have all of my paints ready on a nice plate. I have a glass of water with a variety of brushes and I'm just going to keep my brushes in there. So you can do that as well, or if you don't like doing that, you can definitely go ahead and keep your brushes out, but just make sure you clean them in between steps, just so the paint doesn't dry in your bristles. Acrylic paint, it does dry quickly, which is nice for happy accidents here, but not so much on your clothes or in paint brushes, because if you leave the brushes out with paint in them, they can turn into nice back scratchers. All right, and then you can use paper towel. I'm just using an old rag to clean my brushes off on, so feel free to do that too. All right, and the first thing we're gonna do is I'm starting with a bigger brush. And we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna, excuse me, we're gonna go ahead and paint this background. And if you notice on the bottom here, it is a darker blue. And then it slowly gets lighter. It get, actually, it goes lighter pretty quickly. And then, I don't know if you can see in here, but there is a little green as we get towards the top. So I'm just going to start with some dark blue right away. And you can definitely, if you want to thin your paint out a little bit, you can add a little water to it. Just dunk your brush in your water and mix it right in. And now for the background, if you notice, the marks go every which way up, down. Ooh, I got a little pink globby there. Up, down, left, and right, all different directions. And then this is just going to give us a really fun backdrop for when we place our hearts on top. And you can paint your edges too as you go along, or if you want to wait till the end, you can do that as well. And you may notice that my table is full of quite a bit of paint, but this is my art table, so I'm not too worried about it. But if you're painting at a regular table, I would definitely put down some type of covering. All right, and now I'm going ahead and I'm mixing in some white and blue together. So they're right next to each other. And if you want to grab an extra plate to mix on, you can do that as well. And then I'm going to go ahead, same thing, start putting in this really nice light blue. And as you can see, there is quite a distinct difference between here and there. I'm not going to worry about that just yet. 
but if you want to you can start grabbing some regular dark blue you don't have to rinse your brush out and put that in there too and your marks can be bigger I'm gonna grab a little more of my light blue they could be thinner and I'm gonna be bringing this light blue I'm gonna leave a good quarter of the painting white on top for now so you can see I'm using my brush the thin way but you can also use it the wide way which is what I've been doing having these marks go in all different directions there we go I'm gonna go ahead and get some of these thinner marks of the dark blue in there as well. You could even just grab some straight up white, put it on here and have it mix in with the paint right on the canvas. And if you are painting this on Valentine's Day, I hope you're enjoying yourself or if you're doing this the day before or if you're doing it after you know what you should be celebrating love all year round I feel especially this year I've noticed a lot of my marks are going that way, so I'm going to start getting some marks there we go. going the opposite way. I'm going to go in. I just wiped all the paint off my brush, and I'm just going to go ahead. And I'm not adding any paint right now, but I'm just going to go ahead and move some around. going to come back here and add a little more to this but I am liking the texture it's starting to create it's a nice thing too when you use a brush and you got a lot of paint on the canvas if you just wipe your brush off you can clean it too sometimes it's just fun to go in with a brush without paint on and move paint around that's already there instead of adding to it Okay, and then the next thing I'm going to do, I will rinse my brush out just a little bit. And I'm going to be adding a different element up here. And before I move on, I just want to remind you that if you are nowhere near where I am yet, that is perfectly okay. Remember, you can always pause this. You can always rewind if you need to. So don't feel like you need to be where I am at right now. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and mix some of this aqua color with some white. And right now it's going to stand out quite a bit. So as you can see, because the blue is wet, and I'm still using my big brush, but you can see that the blue and the green are mixing together some of this down too. I'm even going to go in with some of the green without white mixed in. Oh yeah. Bring some of that in here too. hear my painting clacking against the against the table it just means I'm having a good time now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start down here again now that I have that covered with a good base coat now I'm gonna start down here again 
And I'm going to add some dark blue. I did rinse my brush out, if you were wondering. Just have some of it stand out a little more. But remember, if you don't like a lot of texture, you can always smooth it out. But if you like a lot of texture, go ahead and let it show through. I'm going to go in with a little bit of white. Kind of mix it right on here. Yeah. Oh, excuse me. There we go. I always seem to sneeze at the most inconvenient times. When is sneezing ever convenient, though? All right. Anyways, I'll just keep adding here some blue, some white. You could even add some fun little dabs. But just remember in here, we're going to be adding a lot of reds in that on top. going to go in with a little more of that green and I did rinse my brush out again you can bring some down here a little bit there we go We add some little white, a little bit of white in there for a little more texture. And up in here, I'm just really focusing on the edges, just because we will be adding a lot of red in here. And I'm just going to kind of mix that together with some blue. Okay, so I'm going to, you know what, actually, just a little more white over here. I want to brighten this up a little bit. There we go. Maybe brighten it up a little bit over here as well. Okay. And then once you have this portion of the background done, go ahead and put your big brush in your water cup, just like I did. And also feel free to rinse your water cup out at any time. And if you're still putting your background in, keep going. And you can pause me. And then once you are ready to move on, you can go ahead and we're going to Mainly towards the bottom here, you can see there's some some fun splatters with some blue and a little little bit of black. All right, and I'm going to grab a clean plate for this. But remember, if you're not here yet, just go ahead and pause me, and when you're ready to join in, join in. So I'm just going to put some blue on my plate there, and then I'm going to mix water in with it. And I'm going to use a brush with this, but if you have a toothbrush, just a spare one lying around, you can definitely use a toothbrush for splattering. And I'm just going to keep dunking my brush in water, mixing it in. You can see it's starting to splatter up. And you want it to just get a little runny. If your paint isn't moving around when you move your plate, that means you need a little more. And then I got a good amount of paint in my brush here. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull the bristles back and let go. Pull back, let go. And as you can see, I got a good amount of good amount of splatters there. But if you want some of the real big ones, you're going to want to really add water. 
Let's see if I can. There we go. And now I'm just kind of hitting and I'm starting to get some of the bigger ones in there. And then the next color I'm going to do is some black. You can see I got some good splatters. Same thing with the black. Now you can rinse your medium brush out here or not. There we go. Same thing, you want it to get a little runny. And these guys I'm just going to keep more towards the bottom. Just gonna... There we go. You can also hit. Going to need a little more water though. So when you're adding water, it is kind of like a science experiment. Just figuring out how much you actually need. Not working, so I'm just going to, there we go. So you might get really big globs, you might get smaller ones, but as you can see, it just adds a little more texture, I feel. But you could even know that it's running. Maybe just kind of have it trail off the side of the plate. Woo! That might be just a little bigger than what I wanted. Yeah, it's a little too big. But you could try that to play around with it. I'm gonna, there we go. Ooh, look at that. Adding a little more texture there. It's kind of fun. That's just a little more than what I wanted, so I'm gonna stick with the little splatters. Could even hold it back for quite a while. Let go. Okay. Even some of the splatters went up there, but that's okay. If you got some marks there that you don't like, if you accidentally took some paint off like I did, you can always touch it up. And if it creates texture, you know what? This whole painting is texture. Got a lot of brush marks on it. But if you cover up some of those splatters you didn't want to, go ahead, grab some more paint, and add some more back in. Okay, so I'm going to put this off to the side. And then before we start adding in the red for our hearts, that we're gonna be painting on top of the red. We do need to let this dry, otherwise the paint's all gonna mix together. So go ahead, finish up this step, and then once you are ready to move on, I will see you for adding the red. Okay, everybody, so your painting should be dry now. And if it's still a little wet, you can definitely just let it air dry. Or if you want to go ahead and use a blow dryer, you can definitely do that too. That helps dry the paint rather quickly. So for this next step, so I'm rinsing out my big brush and I'm going to use my medium flat brush as well for this. And we're going to go ahead and we're going to be putting in this fun kind of pinkish, orangish, reddish blob. I'll call it, where our hearts are going to go. And so we're going to be using some red and white. I'm going to add a little orange in here too to give a little bit of a fiery color. And then we can also use red by itself. We can use orange by itself, all that good stuff. So I'll start with my big brush first. And I'm going to grab some white, and I'm going to go ahead and mix some white and red together to make a pink. Now you can have a medium pink. You could also make a light pink as well. You can have a different shades of pink. And we'll be going back and forth with these, but I'm just going to start with, I'll start with the light pink, why not? And so we got kind of a... Now, I'm not making these shapes perfectly shaped, 
but I'm going to start kind of blocking in areas where I know I'm going to want to put my heart-shaped balloons. So I started with the light pink because I had that on my brush. But then you can go in with some red. And as you can see, the red is kind of showing through. And we'll add a couple layers here like we did with the background. But as you can see, that slowly starting to layer this. And if you want some of this to not be so reddish looking, you could even mix a little red, a tiny amount of blue together, and you could even make a purple if you'd like. Start mixing that in here too, and you could have some purple as well. And you can use your big brush. You want to go in and get some smaller areas and use that medium sized brush. Go ahead. Maybe you want to make a light purple, so you mix a little purple and white together. Now, the layers I'm doing, they're thinner. I'm not making them very thick because I want these to dry. And you can go back over areas, you can rinse your brush out, and you could go back over areas and kind of move the paint around a little bit without any paint on your brush to give it a little more texture if you'd like. this down it keeps clunking on me but this is your painting so you can decide to have it more red more pink you can even grab a little orange and I'm gonna mix the orange in to make it look a little more fiery As you can see by having these smaller layers, I'm really, I'm really able to texture this up. Okay. So this one, it's a little more reddish and purplish. This one, I have it a little more reddish and orangish, which I'm liking. And a little more pink in here too, brighten it up. And then once you have this, how you like it, we're gonna be taking our flat brush again, our small or our medium one, our other brush we could use for this step. And like we did with the splatters here, we're going to be adding splatters around the red as well and on top of the red. So you can make that purple. So if you want to take some blue, take some red. And I'm doing more red than blue. And I'll mix that together to get that deeper purple. And then like before, I'm going to go ahead and mix some water in. And remember, we want it running, so I don't have enough water in yet.
There we go. Now it's running around. Then I want to keep it, do my best to keep it here. So if you want to cover it up a little bit, but you can see that some of it went out of the, went out of the red a little. But as you can see, just adds another dimension. And I'm flicking it again. You can definitely use a brush or a toothbrush, whatever you want. Ooh. You, sometimes you might get some little stringy lines. That's okay. And I'm going to mix a little bit of red with some water. I want to get some brighter ones. And you want to make sure it runs around like so. And I'm going to take it. There we go. And as you've been doing this, you may have noticed that the splatters kind of get all over the place, so if you want to do this, definitely make sure you have cover, you know, good covering, or maybe go outside. If you haven't done so already. Okay. I'm liking that. I'm loving the texture that brought. And then I'm just going to, I don't want to do a lot of this, so I'm just going to do a little. And you can definitely grab fresh water for this. I'm not going to do a little white. It's actually looking more like a light purple, but when I put it on here, it should look more white. I just want to do a couple. There we go. So I just made the white really subtle. And then once you are to this point, we have to let this dry again. So you can go ahead, keep working on this. If you're still working on adding the texture with the paintbrush, go ahead and do that. If you're still adding the splatters, go ahead and keep adding the splatters. And I would let this, I wouldn't pick it up at this point because you might have some of the drips kind of run down. But if you do want to use your hair dryer, I would bring it over and then I would hair blow dry it here. Otherwise, let it air dry. And once this is dry, we're going to move on and we're going to go ahead and we're going to add our hearts. And I'll let you decide on what you want to do. So you can definitely, what I did in the example is you can use a brush. You could use a paint marker, or you can use a Sharpie. So think about that while we're letting this dry, and I will see you in the final step. Okay, everybody, so for the final step, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and put in all of our hearts, and as you can see, they overlap each other, some get go right off the canvas and I kept these bigger but you can definitely make a whole bunch of little ones if you'd like and then I'll be using the brush with the black paint but again if you wanna use a sharpie to make your heart or a paint marker you definitely can do that and now if you are using a smaller brush it's I'm using a smaller round brush that's going to have a nicer point with some black paint. And I'm going to mix just a little water in here. Not like before when we added water to make the drips, but just enough water to make this a little more fluid.
Okay. And I'm going to kind of start maybe in the middle here and then work my way out. And if you are using regular paints, I'm going to be adding some water to my paints every now and then as I go. And I'm just going to see here how this is going to go on. There we go. I think that's going on pretty good. And then you can always go back over things. if You want to darken it up. Or you can just leave it. That's up to you. And I'll go ahead and I'm going to add another one here. And I'm not rushing this. I'm doing my best to make sure my hearts stay inside the red. So you might get some hearts that are a little wider, some that are a little skinnier. That's perfectly okay. And don't worry about your hearts being perfectly shaped. Remember, this is a work of art. I'm going to put a heart here. We're doing this by hand, so it's definitely not going to have perfectly shaped hearts. There we go, that's kind of a fun one. See, I think I'm going to do one here like I did on the example. Have it come right off. The nice thing about this too is you can add some and then maybe take a step back, see how it's starting to come together. I'm going to do another little one here, I think. Just a little one. I think this will be a good spot for one. And maybe one more right here. Got enough space to put one over here. This one's going to be a little fat one. There we go. Nice big one here. Now if you are using a paint marker or a Sharpie, if you've got a finer tip one, you might get some finer lines. Or if you've got a thicker one, you might get some thicker lines. So I think I'm going to do one here. And I think that's going to do it. So as you can see, my lines here are a little thinner than on here. But that's the fun part about paintings. They're not always going to be exactly the same. You can definitely go back over. I'm going to give some of my balloons a little bit of an accent. Not all in the same spot.
And then the balloons, as you can see from the points on the bottom, they have some strings, or hearts on a string. Let me just do a little one there. There we go. Coming off, and they can go kind of wiggly. Make sure. They all... All of these hearts have strings. And all the strings are going to go all the way down. See, this one I'm actually going to go crazy here. Come here. I'll have it go that way. If you are using a brush, just remember that if you are getting a lot of thicker lines and you're not happy with that, you can switch to a thinner brush or otherwise you can always try pressing a little lighter. Maybe you're just pressing a little too hard. Pressure on your brush. The more you do, the thicker the line, the less you do, the thinner the line. If you run out of paint, you can always grab some more. You can always go back over things. Okay, so I'm just going to see if there's anything else I want to add. Let me just touch some things up. But once you have all of your hearts on, if you would like to, you can maybe lower left hand or right hand corner, maybe on an edge of your painting. But, you know, I'm actually going to follow that string there and I'm going to put my initials on for my signature and I think I'm going to call this painting done. So I want to thank you so much for painting with me today and when you are done with this go ahead in the comments or in a separate post share your painting and let us see how this turned out and then I hope you have a great rest of your day. Until the next time stay safe stay healthy and I look forward to painting with you again soon.